I'm here to tell you that whatever you've had, whatever you've known, it's not enough. We are on the precipice of a new era. It is something we've not known. I've had this in my spirit for over a year now that it's not in our paradigm. I don't even know how to describe it. I don't even know how to tell you, but I know something is coming. Think of Noah and the ark. When God told him to go build the ark, that rain was coming, they had no idea what rain was. God had been watering the earth uh, every night with the mist, and so there was not rain. So God was telling him to prepare for something that he didn't know what was up. But God is up to something. It's bigger than you've ever experienced. You need a bigger container. You need a bigger place to overflow because it's going to be awesome what God has in mind. Jesus was totally different than what the Jews were expecting. He thought, they thought that he was going to be a king, and he was a king without a palace. He was flesh and blood, and he ministered to them to show them what they could be with their spirit being alive in God. He was extraordinary, living among the ordinary. He was spirit flesh, walking among flesh, making us alive. Wasn't it great? It was, but they missed him. It was different than what they thought, and they missed him. The religious leaders missed him, and they wanted everybody else to miss him too. They tried, that was the whole point of having him killed. They wanted to shut him down. They didn't want the miracles. They didn't want all the things. They wanted that out of the religious arena. But Jesus showed them. They heard him. They saw him. He was flesh and blood among them. They tasted of him in the sense that the words that he brought were sweet to their life and to their, the bread that he gave them to eat. Um, they, they felt him. He was flesh and blood. They smelled him. There was no smell of hatred or bitterness or even an agenda except for the fathers on him. He walked about and the people directed his ministry. When the woman with the issue of blood came, he stopped and ministered to her. When he was on his way to take care of Jairus' daughter, they came to say, your daughter's dead. He still went. He said, don't be afraid. He was among them. They saw it all the time, but it was bigger than they'd ever thought. What God is about to do is different than you've ever thought. He's going to stretch your revelation of the kingdom of God. He's going to change your understanding of church. He's going to overhaul your relationship with him. He's going to supersize the demonstration of his spirit, and he's going to raise your expectation of manifestation. What we have been through in the last year has been incredible, different than we've ever known. A friend of mine asked me, did you ever believe we'd be here? And I'm like, this is so far off, off of radar. I never had the thought that this could happen or it would be. But God has used it. I'm not going to say God caused it. God has used it because he wants to do something drastic. And he needed something drastic. It's, it's a portent of what's about to come in a good way. And so, you know, I've heard... I don't know that I've ever been, but there are restaurants that when you go that they serve you sherbet in between courses to cleanse your palate. And I believe that that's one of the things that God has been doing in this last year is cleansing our palate to prepare us for the new. Don't long for the old, dead, familiar things, but get your expectation up. Begin to look around for what God is doing. Look up and see what God is about to do. The prophets are speaking about it. The revelation of the Lord is coming forth. And when it comes, we're going to be right smack dab in the middle of it. So get ready. God is about to bring in not a new season, not a new time, but a new era. We are living in the time where 2,000 years of the gospel of incorruptible seed has been planted in the earth. We have yet to see a harvest. Both Isaiah and Habakkuk talked about that the, glory, that the knowledge of the glory of the Lord would cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. How much of the earth is covered by water? Over 70%. Let go of your paradigm that hell's going to have more people than heaven. Oh no. And I believe that the earth is going to be more fruitful and more full of the glory of the Lord than not. So get ready. God's about to bring it.